विदिन सिक्स मंथ्स ऑफ ज्वाइनिंग द कंपनी आई वॉज एक्चुअली वर्किंग ऑन दैट प्रोजेक्ट दट आई हैड थॉट ऑफ अमेजोन ने मेरे को यूएस भेज दिया एक महीने के लिए मैं सिर्फ बारह महीने मैंने अमेजोन में जॉब किया आउट ऑफ दैट वन मंथ आई वॉज इन द यूएस बिकॉज दैट आइडिया वॉज पोटेंशियली सेविंग सो मच मनी दैट दे वॉन्टेड अस टू वर्क अलॉन्ग विद द बिजनेस टीम इन द यूएस इन कॉलेज फाइंडिंग द राइट पीपल हु हैव सिमिलर इंटरेस्ट वट आई वुड वॉन्ट टू डू सिमिलर इंटरेस्ट एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ वट आई वॉन्ट टू अचीव कैन बी वेरी ट्रिकी लर्निंग जर्नी में भी ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कहीं पर स्टक हो रहे हैं कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है कुछ एडवाइस चाहिए तो वी शुड आस्क फॉर हेल्प एंड इवन वेन यू आर वर्किंग समवेयर एंड यू फील यू आर स्टक समवेयर यू नीड सम हेल्प यू नीड सम गाइडेंस जस्ट गो एंड आस्क Hi guys this is Ankush and welcome to another video in Ankush Fani so today i want to talk about some of the mistakes or some of the things that i was not aware when i was a software developer and upcoming an initial phase of my career so i want to talk about some of those mistakes or some of my learnings from that period to ensure that you don't make these mistakes and along with that you are able to make the best of all the opportunities available to you but before we proceed quickly pause the video and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel do press the bell icon as well and that will make sure that you get access to all the amazing content that is being uploaded on the channel you get access to that quickly now let's quickly jump into the video so when i was a software developer so my first job was at amazon my second job was at facebook and i think at both the places i learned few things which if i knew to begin with i would have done a much better job as a developer i think during my learning journey itself one mistake that i did that's my first point is to focus on whatever is happening in college and whatever skills i'm learning in college rather than focusing on my fundamentals and the real practical skills that are needed in industry they go college mein hum jo bhi seekh rahe hain right kafi sari cheeze aisi hoti hain jo bahut zyada theoretical hai sirf hum usi ke upar focus karte rehte hain kyunki hame marks chahiye isme do cheeze miss kar dete hain hum pehli cheez jo first aur second semester mein kaam ki cheez padhte hain which is foundation of programming data structure algorithm uske upar enough practice nahi karte hain while we are learning all these theoretical concepts in college and along with that another problem with college और ड्यूरिंग द लर्निंग फेज इज दैट हम लोग रियल प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स पर फोकस नहीं करते दैट इज वेब डेवलप मे बी इन टूडेज एज दैट इज ए आई वट एवर यू बिलीव आर द रियल प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स विच विल बी रिक्वायर्ड बाई सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर्स इन द इंडस्ट्री राइट नाउ उसके ऊपर हमें फोकस कर दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू इंश्योर मेहनत हम सब कर रहे हैं सीख रहे हैं बट क्या हम सही चीजों पर फोकस कर रहे हैं दैट इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ एस टू डू वेल इन अ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट करियर सो now quickly coming to the second point i think this is a mistake that i have definitely done i remember at amazon i was stuck on a bug for like a week two week time and i was not asking for help even in college i was very very hesitant in asking for help if i was facing any issue in my learning journey i mean this is a mistake that all of us tend to do i heard somewhere one quote which has really changed this for me that if you don't ask for it by default it's a no so what's the harm in asking for it the worst case you will hear a no but there is a chance that you will hear a yes and that will help you move faster and unblock yourself get to the next level faster so asking for help is extremely important i think learning journey mein bhi ye bahut important hai kahin par stuck ho rahe hain kuch samajh nahi aa raha hai kuch advice chahiye to we should ask for help and even when you are working somewhere and you feel you are stuck somewhere you need some help you need some guidance just go and ask asking for help actually leads to the best sort of bonds that you will create with your colleagues as well now when we are talking about it if you feel that there is something that you want to ask me quickly go to the comment section and add a comment and i will try and answer those questions in the next video. okay so let's quickly move right coming to the third point and one thing that i do want to tell you is the fifth point is absolutely my favorite i think that has really helped me in amazon to do well so do stick around and make sure that you stay till the end of the video now let's quickly move to the third point i think uh, we hear a lot about work life balance right everybody is talking about how we need to maintain a balance between work and life I actually have a little opposite view on this. I think at the starting of your career, work-life balance is should be least of your priorities. What you should be worried about is how do you learn more? How do you get more work done? And I'm not saying this because that will lead to the maximum benefit for your organization. That is for your own benefit. When I was at Amazon initially, I had this 
uh, feeling of that I want to make sure that I'll study or I'll basically uh, work only for this much time, rest of the time is my time. And that actually led to me sort of learning a little slower than what I would have liked. Within two, three, four months, I got to a project which I was super excited about. Jesse wo project mila. I was spending 12 hours, 14 hours getting that work done. Now, some of you might say, Badiya nahi hai yaar tumhare liye. But I'm telling in the starting of the career, you have maximum energy. That is the best time for you to learn. That is the best time for you to invest as much in your learning as possible. And learning ka best tarika hai, kaam karo. Zada se zada code karo, zada se zada projects pe kaam karo. And you will get to learn the maximum. So, the advice I'm trying to tell you is, forget about work-life balance. Make work your life at least to begin with. Right? Thore time mein thode energy kam hoi ki, kuch aur responsibilities aayengi and we will do all of that. But, to begin with, focus on your work. Now, quickly move to the fourth point. So, I think when we are in college, finding the right people who have similar interest as what I would want to do, similar interest as in terms of what I want to achieve, can be very tricky. But you need to realize that once you get into a company, you will be collaborating with so many other people and you will not be the only one working. So you need to ensure even in the learning journey, you learn how to collaborate. You learn how to make big projects where you are handling one part of it, somebody else is handling the other part of it. That will teach you how do you ensure that the code still stays good things still work out and more importantly it also teaches you how to work in a team because this is one thing that recruiters will always care about whether you will be a team member good team member or not whether you will be able to work well with everybody else in the team so if you learn collaboration it will help you get better it helps you become better coder but along with that it helps you become a better team member eventually which is going to be very very important when you are trying to get hired. Now let's come into the I think one of the most important points among the six points that I want to talk about. I think this personally actually helped me when I was at Amazon. We developers tend to think that somebody will tell me what needs to be done and we will do it. I think you need to really break these boundaries and think beyond. For example, at Amazon, the product that I was working in, I was constantly thinking about what we could do to improve this, what are the things that we could do better, what else we could do to sort of get things uh, to be more efficient. Now that technically is not a developer's job. That's a product manager's job. But you are constantly working on a product. If you care about your product, you will think about what I can do to improve it. So if you actually are doing your work well, if you are actually you really care about your work, then automatically these product ideas will start coming in as well. I think you should definitely try and do more than just dev work. For example, at Amazon, I found that there was one process that we had uh, through which we were actually, there was a lot of money which was going out of Amazon, which we could have avoided. Now, I felt that we, if we find an answer to this, we could potentially lead to a significant sort of savings for the company. Now, that was an initial thought. I did not know how much money it will uh, save. I was not aware whether that will be acceptable by the business team or not. But I had a thought and I had made sure I decided to sort of quickly get into the data and look at potentially how much money it will save. And that was actually millions of dollars that it could potentially save. And I just went to my manager and I told him that, yeah, to kuch karna hai iske mein. And that actually got approved. And I was the one who was leading along with one or two more developers. Within six months of joining the company, I was actually working on that project that I had thought of. Ki, yaar, ye kar lena Isse kuch bahut fayda ho. Now, what that shows to everybody around you is that tum developer to ho. Saath mein, you actually care. You actually have the ownership. Uh, capabilities that if you are doing something, you are doing it well. You are thinking about it and you are doing it the right way. Now, a small idea is that I got to work with two people. Amazon has sent me to USB for a month. I only worked for 12 months in Amazon. Mein Amazon mein job kiya. Out of that one month, I was in the US because that idea was potentially saving so much money that they wanted us to work along with the business team in the US. Now, after such long 
टाइम इन टू यर करियर यू एस में थोड़ा टाइम स्पेंड करना इतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं लगता बट उस टाइम पर तो बहुत ही एक्साइटमेंट होती है बहुत मजा आता है राइट सो आई थिंक दिस इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी थिंक बियॉन्ड जस्ट द डेव वर्क दैट वी हैव टू डू नाउ कमिंग टू आर लास्ट पॉइंट विच इज बिल्डिंग अ गुड नेटवर्क सी इन दी एंड वेन यू ग्रो इन टू यर करियर पीपल यू हैव वर्क विद बिफोर पीपल यू हैव नोन बिफोर these are the people who will open opportunities for you i honestly don't believe that going to a networking event talking to 10 people is what i really believe is good networking what i really believe is good networking is people who you are learning with in your college or as part of some other program or people you are working with in your company these are the people you need to have a good network with these are the people who should be to a level impressed with your skills who should understand how good what are your strengths that they will be ready to vouch you for and along with that these are the people that you should have good connect with at facebook i have referred two people who were from my team in amazon who got hired at facebook when i was applying for jobs after stanford i actually applied to amazon and i did not have to give interviews and they gave me an offer because my manager gave me a strong review and along with other couple of my team members they didn't feel the need to give in uh, to have me give interviews again no this is if you build these strong connections if you build that strong connect these are sort of opportunities that will open up for you right those referrals are extremely important those are very very valuable uh, the recommendations and every job that you apply to very likely they will want you to do a reference check they will reach out to your manager previous manager previous team members to to check with them and to take feedback on you right so building these strong connects having a great network is going to be extremely important i hope this was helpful i would definitely recommend you to just quickly look at these six points again just quickly run through the video again note down these six points because i am telling you these can be absolutely game changer for you in terms of you being an average developer to you being an amazing software developer thank you so much